Hello you beautiful people and thank you for clicking on my video. Welcome! Today we're going to be taking a look at a beautiful tricked out car that I've made. So no further ado, let's get into the video! It can take hours to build one of these cards. So if you do want to watch that sort of footage, pop on one of my streams, and um, I frequently build cards. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we are just going to look at the final results. Ah, yes, what a beautiful looking car. And all from this body here, the 2008 Coupe. I will say, um, I do think there needs to be a few small changes just maybe something got along here to give it a bit more character maybe something in the bonnet maybe some texture details maybe some more black showing so the car ended up being made entirely out of carbon fiber with a semi space frame out of aluminium and the front transfers engine with double wishbone double wishbone suspension Some nice engine stats, I think, for a car like this. So I'm going to give you a little run through of what the engine end up being. It was an inline four a magnesium block with a 1.6 dual overhead cam for um, Alsys, and the quality was right up. It's bullet steel, lightweight titanium, lightweight forge. Balance shafts are set to 1 kg. Compression was 10 to 1. Cam profile was 96. Springs and lifters 75. VVT was on all cams and it had the VVL profile set to 70. Uh, the revs per minute were 3000 on the VVL. Coming in nice and early like you would do with the turbo. Coming in at 3000. Uh, the torque steadies out quite nice. It does dip a bit at the end, but it doesn't pay too much problems until you're really in sixth gear. Then it gets a bit of an issue, but we still got a lot of speed. I believe 220 is my top speed out of it so far. Um, so I think I'm happy with it. So a few tweaks here and there are going to be needed, but so far this is how the car has been built. It hits a uh, red limiter is set to 10,000, which is, I think, a nice amount of revs to be playing with so we uh this one isn't na we decided to go with a turbocharger i only had a single option was the smart boost uh this is the size of the intercooler this is the settings which goes with the turbo it's not a very big turbo 70 mil i suppose it's a nice size actually it's only an inline four so that's probably a good size for inline four 50 mil exit was doing quite well there to be able to bring the revs down to 3000 so the timing on it was 25 and the boost we got in was one bar of boost the fuel system is direct injection that's per cylinder it's a race intake manifold we got that set to 66 uh very advanced with minus 0.5 it's unleaded fuel <coughs> with ultimate 100 a run uh the fuel map is set to quite rich at 89 Two of the races on the headers, header size has been 40, single exhaust with bypass valves and the size is 63.5. No catalytic filter, first muffler none, straight through muffler. I always choose this, I don't know why it turns itself off, it definitely does. I normally have that turned on, I always have it turned on. Don't have, make that much difference, may as well have it on. So we'll just have a little listen to the engine now.
There'll be no time lapse in this video, I'm afraid. I do apologise. So I think the card came together quite nice in the build. Like I said, there were some details I would like to change still. But uh, overall, it's uh, looking quite nice. I've got most of the details in. And I've got my little sprays. Yeah, look at my little sprays. I spray the water onto my front windscreen. Small details like that are always fun to put in. So um, a few more of those adding in. Like I say, I want to put uh, some visor in, some roof. Yeah, some visor, some roof. You know, if I can find the little guards that go on here, I think they'll look quite nice. Maybe tint the windows a bit blacker in the back. Maybe lighten them up in the front so you can see a bit more realistic in UK Biden rules. You wouldn't normally see a car going down the road like this because you get pulled over straight away. But yeah, looking good. So we're just going to look over what I did to the end of the underneath bits, not the engine. So the drive type was all wheel drive. Yeah, this thing really grips. I'm not going to lie. Uh, gearbox manual, six speed. It's set to 244. I've had 220 out of it so far. So I don't think that's too bad. Oh, estimated speed, estimated speed only 235. So um, yeah, I probably should change that. I will do it at some point, but not right now. Differential is electric LSD, which is a change. I normally use gears, but it seems to be doing a trick. Uh, power distribution, uh, 5446. I'm leaving quantity out of this because you can bump it up, put it down, up to you. I was just trying to see if I could get it to work. Be sold, basically. Tire type is radial. Tire choice, semi slicks. Tire width 225. It reckons they're too wide, but I think that helps with a lot of grip and G-force in the corners. Um, the 17s uh, spaced out as they are. Um, tire width wall of the tire wall width, so I say, is 40. Um, I thought I had it bigger than that, but they do look pretty good at 40, so I'm just gonna leave them at that. Carbon fiber. Wheels apparently, even though I definitely put steel paint job on them. Oh well, we'll stick to it what it is. We'll leave it as it is, it would do what we do. Carbon fiber with just one little piston on each one. And the brake force is set up so a little bit heavy on the back to help it spin around the corners when you're braking in heavy. Uh, this car handles really well, I'm not gonna lie. We've done a beautiful job there. On the aero, yes, it's a very heavy on the front, but it doesn't tend to oversteer, so we've done a good job there, I would say. Sportiness is 99.1, and the G's in the corners of the 200 mil, 200 mil, 200 meter circle is 1.61 G-force. So um, that's a lot of G's, I think, for a car like this. Uh, this is my aero settings. This will change depending on your car and how many wings and stuff you've got on it. Interior, two seats, sport, luxury, a hod. I think the reason I put that sort of stuff in, it was basic and no entertainment to make it light as possible. But this, again, I did because I was mocking about to see if I could actually get it to sell, and I did. So time to look at the driver's aid. It's steering, we had all the old electric steering. We do have a bit of ABS. Uh, the quality for some reason is still ranked right up, but you know uh, The safety is 2020 standard 20 Quality one, you know, this stuff really doesn't matter too much in beam and G But it does if you want to sell cars Springs, we're going for the progressive springs Rather than going for the active ones because then we're going to dampers with semi-active and then active sway bars um, this is my settings that I had to dial in to get the car to do what it does. This will differ between different cars, but this is what I did to this car. If you need to get your, this particular car to go around corners, just copy mine. Um, but yeah, this is stats. We've got 1.35 Gs in the lower corners. 99.1% uh, sportiness. 86.2% uh, drivability. Yeah, I think I've done okay in this car. 
Uh, drivability thing. Oh, you see some red in the handle and stuff. Not good. A good sportiness. Yeah, all green. Doing well, apart from interior. But yeah, you know, that's what it is. Probably all bad and comfort. Oh, look. Apparently did well there. Um, ah, you know, all green here. Not looking too bad. I think that's safe. Safety. You know, it's okay. Not red there. It's only the drivability and the comfort really at the suffer. But we don't care about them. We're here to make cars that go fast. And we did. We did make this car go fast, as you'll see very soon. So we are now just going to see what sort of times it gets around our track. So we did push the pause button, and it's a 1 minute 53 seconds around the, the test track. I think that's beautiful times. 40 seconds around this little tighty ch chicane bit. It normally takes me 44 seconds. 1 minute 13 on the second split. So that's this big straight here, which I believe it hits 200 before the spend, and it can take this more near enough at full speed. So yeah, I think we've done well there. This has definitely got to be one of the best cars I've made for handling and probably speed um, <coughs> I've done to date. As you'll see in this video coming up after this little clip, I am weaving through traffic like a madman doing 200 plus most of the time um there's some corners come up and i don't even bother braking i just turn and the car handles it, it's a dream to drive there are some fiddly bits i need to sort out the gear ratio can be a bit better as you'll find when i get into six gear um it doesn't finish getting to the rev line so there's some some improvements to be made there but, but overall super happy with the car enjoy the video
again we sadly come to the end of this video i would really appreciate if you can leave some comments on improvements i can make uh, i've only started making these videos beginning of 2023 it's only a couple of months in um so i could do with a little bit of help i do watch it myself and i notice flaws here and there so please anything to help my videos be a bit more entertaining throw them in there thanks again for popping by i hope you like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one